All right, y'all, we're just tightening everything up on the new grill by MSP. Okay. We got the right side all ready to go. What I can do is zoom in so you guys can see that. All right. What's up, y'all? Hope you are doing good and staying super blessed. This is Sky Life Projects. I have another video for you guys. It is a long-awaited video. Today, I should say actually tonight, in this garage, we're going to be installing the MSP one-piece carbon fiber front grill for my 2023 Subaru WRX. I am over here at my homie Ben's house. We are going to knock this out. It is currently up on jack stands right now and i'm going to walk you guys through the process the install portion of the video and obviously we're going to show you what it looks like as the final result okay you guys let me know in the comments what you think about it please give this video a like if you did enjoy the video also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already much love major blessings let's get this video started here we go all right y'all we're starting the install car is jacked up Ben is getting under to see where the clips are at. Um, he's stating we might have to remove a couple of clips on the, what is it, the flow designs splitter, the front splitter. We might have to remove a couple. Just on the bolts. side from right yeah, here. Yeah, a couple sides. All right. Ben, you want to say what's up to the channel, man? What's up? I think you guys saw him in one video a while back where he was at a car show. I can't remember if he was in it or not, but I think he was. The car was. I don't know if I the was. The car was. That's right. Okay. So, anyways, we're going to be doing that. Um, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think there's 23 clips for the front bumper. I'm not positively sure. I have not taken it off yet, but that's from what I've heard. We can count. Yeah. So, we're going to test that theory. And um, I'll keep you guys updated. Much love and blessings. One. All right, y'all. So Ben is going to be working on the bottom. And I'm going to show you the clips I'm going to be taking off, obviously. So right here, here, all of these. So that is, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Looks like 12 clips on the top. So we'll be doing that right now. And I'm obviously going to speed up the video here. So here we go. All right, y'all, got all these bolts and clips off. There was 12. One more time, you do not remove the, let me see, show you the weather stripping bolts right there, the little ones. You don't remove those, apparently. So we got one, two, three, four, five, okay, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12. All right, Ben is removing the 10 millimeter bolts from the flow designs front splitter to access obviously the front bumper right ben is that correct yes all right all right so yeah you guys we're making progress i'll keep you updated one all right y'all we're gonna start removing now the front bumper all the bolts are off on the passenger side fender and the driver's side fender 
And yeah, okay. See? All you're gonna do on each side is you're gonna pull on the fender and just pop all the clips. So there's one, two, three. Yep. You should do three clips. Uh huh. And up here, all these. But I have to get access to here, right? Doesn't this come off mm -hmm. or does it stay no, on? No, that stays on. Oh, okay. So right here. One. Two. Oh, uh, maybe one. There you go. Okay. So hang on, hang tight for a second. Right. So you're gonna hold it from up here, make sure it doesn't fall. I wanna make sure everything is so I got everything out. Yep, it does. Alright. You ready? Nope, nope, wait. Wait. So we're gonna set it right here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I have to unclip the headlights, the fog lights. Oh, truth. And that, and it's we're only gonna be able to pull it up like just. Okay. So just something to rest it on. Okay, this should come out. Yeah. Make this a little bit taller. There we go. Just come out now. Yeah. Get the light. I got it on my side. It's out? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, it's out. Where is it? I don't, don't want to hold it like that. Let's get it a little more. Let me, let me find something nice to rest it on. Actually, that lip under there is pretty safe. There, it's pretty, it's okay, bro. Let's rest it. I didn't want to set it on the ground, but I was like, yeah, that's, that lip is heavy duty. All right. All right, y'all. That was actually pretty, pretty easy compared to the Type R. I remember it took a lot more effort than that. So, as you guys see, the front bumper is removed, and there are how many bolts are right there? Right here. You got the clips. Yep. One, two, three, four. So there's three screws. Three screws. One, five two, clips. Four. Eight clips. Eight clips. So there's three screws on each side. So six clips, six screws total, eight clips total. All right. Let me show you guys what the product looks like now. Ben, if you want to do the honors, bro. Ooh, wait, 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 hold on. Let's. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh, okay. We talking huh? fresh now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Okay. <laughs> You're sweating? I know. It's hot. Hey, there's air right here. Point it towards me. Yes. You need it though, too. Well, I was pointing it because I was working over there, so I had to point it over there. So these can actually be done by hand, I think. Can this go up a little bit more on power fan? Three is the highest. Is that the highest it's right now? It's just going to rotate, yeah. Oh, okay. If it says three up there, then that should be. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, three. All right, well. Okay, hold this to, because I feel like it's about to pop out, so just make sure it don't pop out and like hit the ground. Because all these can kind of be done by hand. Well, not all of them. Yeah, bro, I got it. Look. Well, no, hold on. Don't, don't force it. There's a couple more. Just, things. yeah, hit those out a little bit. They just need to be pried just a teeny, tiny little bit. They're a pressure clip, so you have to put the pressure back out to them, right? Well, these should just come out. Yeah, the bottom ones are pressure ones, just like... You remember the Type R, bro? How it had yeah, the... Well, the top ones I got out no problem. Right. The bottom ones are just right. being... Because these don't have the grooves on top of them, right? So right here, there's grooves on the bottom. Just press it out with, like, the bottom of a screwdriver. Yeah, just like that. You want me to do it? So, yeah, you just press this right here, and then I and I pull, just like this. They are in there deep, though. Yeah, really deep. Just press this. I was like, my thumb was just not 
how the amount how hard it's pushing. No, there's got to be, see, like, force is not the answer. There's no. always an easy, hang on. Oh, I yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying now. So it's force like you have to press, let me try this. Press down. There's always got to be a finesse way to do it. No, it's not working. Oh, you're going to pry it up? Just a tiny little bit. So... I want it to bend the other way. Yes, move it right here. Oh, I see the culprit. I found it. All right, y'all. We're trying to line up the new grill here. Tell me if you're lined up. You can push it, snap okay. it into place. Well, yeah, you gotta put the screws in. But these gotta lock. Where are these locking? You're bleeding, brother. I'm always bleeding. That was from my car. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Got it. I see. I'm pressing on here, though. Look. Well, no, there's a trick from the back side. It's mm -hmm. like I gotta press down on it for it to snap in. Y'all, look at this. Now I'm gonna get the top. We're gonna hear him snap in. All right, y'all, we're just tightening everything up on the new grill by MSP. Okay. We got the right side all ready to go. What I can do is zoom in so you guys can see that. go and then Ben is checking everything right now let me see something real quick perfect 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 Ben you can come take a look too but see how this is right oh, there that looks way better <laughs> way I didn't even see go. it oh, no, that yeah. looks night and day difference night and day difference totally JDM y'all let me know what you guys hey, think buddy. in the comments of how it looks right now honestly I think it's super dope and uh, we're gonna get the bumper back on and we'll show you guys the final look and also wait hold up let me get something real quick also you guys can't just have the front emblem you got to have the rear emblem too right so ben there you go that's what the it's fancy it's fancy so those other emblems are coming off and we're replacing everything with full carbon fiber that's the way we do it in skylab projects Sheesh. so we'll do that and that'll be the end of the video all right guys be back in just a moment all right y'all finally got the front bumper on i literally probably about another 22 minutes to get this thing back on and lined up correctly right ben sounds yeah. about right i would say that's about the right time it took I'm not gonna lie to you guys we had some complications getting it back on so these we're just gonna like but, hand tighten to where they're yeah. almost tight but yeah. not quite tight we'll line up the yep. rest of the bumper then we'll tighten these last yep but we'll throw the clips in We're basically done though. Yeah. Just buttoning her up and it's all done. Do you want this guy. a little looser in here? Yeah. yeah. About right there. There's this little guy going mm -hmm. in. Yeah. You want to put that in right now or you want to yeah. wait? Because the clips will line it up, then we'll tighten it down. On the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Just remember to tighten these up top.
Ooh, it's, it's humid. It's hot. Easy. All right, you guys, this is the final product with the front bumper on, splitter secured. This is what the grill looks like. And I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit. About right, about right there. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Definitely makes the front end look a lot meaner. It's a little dirty right there. I'm gonna clean that up in just a second. But as you guys can see, Pretty beautiful. Solid job, Ben. Thank you for your help. Yep. I mean, I help with some of the clips, you guys, the top mostly, and, you know, tightened everything back up too. But Ben did most of the bottom work. So I want you to know that. Looks sick. All right. We're going to put the rear emblem on, and we'll be done with this video. Be back in just a moment. One. All right, y'all. It's not even a debate. Thousand times, <laughs> right, man? Literally. So let me know what you guys think. Much love and blessings, you guys. This was another video with Sky Life Projects. If you did enjoy the video, smash that thumbs up button for me. Greatly appreciate it. it. Helps out the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed already. Until next time, you guys. Another video. This is Sky Life Projects. Love y'all. Peace.